Hi everybody, I'm Lee Herbert and you're probably still not, so keep working at it. Today's tutorial we're going to look at creating a time lapse easily in Final Cut Pro 10. So I've gone out and shot my time lapse on my GH4 and I've created a library here called Learning. Within library I've got two projects. One of them is a 1080 project and one of them is another project that I've created at the native resolution of the GH4. So when I bring my photos in, they're not actually 1920 by 1080, their native resolution is 4608 by 2952. The reason why I'm going to make my project at the native resolution is this gives me options later on. So if I want to punch in on my image, it's almost like shooting your time lapse in 4K or even larger, depending on the native resolution of your camera. To create a project in a different resolution than the default one, simply click on File, then go across to New, say New Project. Then in the center area here where it says Custom, click on the 1080p HD, scroll all the way down, select Custom, and now simply type in the resolution you want. So I'm going to type in 4608, hit Tab to go to the next window, and then 2952. I want my video to be 25 frames per second and click OK. And there's my untitled project which is at my full res and I'm just going to rename it to large. Then I need to bring in all my photos so I click Command I to bring in my photos and import them. I've already chucked them into a folder on my desktop called Melbourne Raw to JPEG. Now while that's importing I'll just explain why I converted the raw into JPEG is just so that it, there's less time involved in rendering those while I'm demonstrating this for you into Final Cut but normally when I do this I do it with actual raw images so that's now brought in all the images that I shot on my time-lapse I'm just going to click on the top one and then use the down arrow just flick down and make sure that I'm starting from the beginning of my time-lapse and yes I am so I now to select all those images I click command A and then click on E to append all of them into my project. Now by default Final Cut has made each one of those photos 10 seconds long. Now that's not going to create a particularly dynamic time-lapse and I'll just click on play to demonstrate that while I talk. Not a lot going on as you can see. So we want to make the length of each of these photos a lot shorter. Now generally you want to make them either one frame long or two frames long. And the reason why you go two frames long is a friend of mine, Cedric Robertson, gave me this tip. It helps with the movement. Sometimes making each photo one frame long can stagger the movement a bit. So experiment with how long you want each photo to be. But generally, you don't want them to be more than three or four frames at the most. So play between one and five. So to do that, I'm going to click on Command A to select all of them. I'm then going to click on Control D, and that changes my time in the center here so I can enter in whatever number I want so I'm going to click on 2 and then hit enter and now that's made each one of those photos two frames in length I'm going to click shift Z just to reposition my timeline so I can see everything and now I can just click on play and there is my time lapse nice and easy the final step is let's say I want to now make these photos behave like a video file. So if I want to uh, play with the exposure or the color or do whatever it is that I want to do with it. So to do that I'm going to make them into a compound clip. So I simply hit Command A to select them all again. I then click on Option G to create a compound clip and I can name it whatever I like. I'm just going to stick with the default name. Click OK and now that collection of photos is a single compound clip and Final Cut will teach Final Cut will treat it just as it would treat any other video file and you can do whatever you like with it. And that is how to very quickly and easily put together a time lapse in Final Cut Pro 10.